Hi everybody, this is Nate from The Kramer Life. Today I want to give you an update on the project of removing mold and doing crawl space restoration on the 1930s farmhouse. As you all know, in February of 2022 of this year, we purchased 60 acres in East Tennessee, and on that 60 acres is a 1930s farmhouse, which Katie and I intend to rehab and turn into a rental and we really intend to do most of the rehab project ourselves. The first project that we started with was getting rid of some mold down in the crawl space. I decided to do that myself after getting three bids from professionals that do mold remediation and crawl space encapsulation. And when the quotes came in between ten dollars and $15,000, I really thought that it was work that I could do myself. And Yes, I can do the work, uh, but it's turning out that I'm not able to do it nearly as fast as the companies would do, but that's okay. So over the last few months, I've been working on that project kind of on and off, and I'll walk through what I've done so far and what my next steps are afterwards. And I'll put up some before and after pictures and some pictures of the progress or of the work that I've done so far. I started off by getting rid of the foam board insulation that were put up by the previous owner. And I did that so I can get access to all of the wood surface down in the crawl space. I wanted to make sure that I was spraying all of the wood and get, getting rid of all of the mold. So I took down the foam board, threw it out uh, outside, and I started spraying the joists and the underside of the subfloor or the ceiling of the crawl space with a solution called RMR86 and it's a mold and mildew uh, re stain remover. So what it does is it is it gets rid of the mold and any mildew stains that are on the wood. It gets in all the pores and it makes the wood look like new wood again. And I used a pump spray for that and it took a lot longer and a lot more product than I thought. Originally, I just ordered four two-gallon uh, buckets of it, and it really, I really needed about four times that amount. Once I got the mold and the mildew stains removed and things started looking a lot better, then I used their product called um, RMR 141. And what that is, it's a disinfectant and a cleaner and it kills any remaining mold and mold spores on the wood and it disinfects it and keeps it from uh, keeps mold from growing again as long as conditions are still correct in the in the environment this rmr 141 solution it doesn't uh, make the wood look any different. It simply just kills the mold spores, kills any bacteria and any viruses that are down there, and makes the crawl space nice and clean. So I sprayed all wood surfaces, I sprayed all of the walls, sprayed all of the pillars, I sprayed a lot. So now the crawl space is free of mold and it's clean. So now what I needed to, to do, and what I did earlier today and a few days ago is get all of the trash out of the crawl space. And so I, I removed all of the plastic that was laid down. There was a bunch of uh, cinder blocks and wood pieces and metal pieces and just a bunch of stuff. So I have a huge trash pile on the outside of the entrance to the crawl space. Now that things are nice and clean and ready for the next step, what I'm gonna do is lay down 10 mil plastic on the ground and up the walls around all the pillars and all the surfaces. And what that'll do is keep moisture from coming in from the walls and coming up from the floor and keep the area nice and dry. In addition to that, I will install a dehumidifier, a high volume dehumidifier to keep the crawl space area between 50 and 60% humidity to ensure that mold doesn't grow back again and keep that area in optimal conditions to store things like food, supplies and items and stuff and it'll stay nice and dry and be a great area for storage. The room that is just before the entrance to the crawl space, it's a pretty sizable room and it is under cover 
And what I plan to do is take half of that room, frame it out, um, wall it up with foam board insulation, install a, a wall mounted AC unit, attach that to a cool bot and make it a walk-in freezer. And that'll be a great place for Katie and I to have long-term storage for our food. That area will not be accessible to the guests of the 1930s farmhouse. And so it'll be a place where Katie and I can use and store things even though the house is gonna be a rental. So I'm really excited about the way that this project has turned out so far. The area or the crawl space is now nice and clean, no signs of mold, it looks great. And I'm ready for the next steps of encapsulating and putting a dehumidifier in, sealing up the wall, sealing up the vents, and the doors and making it a nice environmentally controlled area. So that's it for the update today. Pretty short and quick video, but I wanted to show you the progress that was made so far because I'm really happy with it. So thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one.